Now I want to start to dovetail into some of the more advanced monitoring topics, but they're still part of Monitoring 101. They're just not sort of that foundational layer of monitoring. Yep, so let's talk about NetFlow first. I love NetFlow. Okay. As a network administrator, NetFlow answers the question for me. Uh, so my interface is uh, being heavily utilized. What's using that interface? So let's take a look at our interface here and take an uh, example of what that looks like. Um, so here we're looking at an interface on this device called BO WAN. That's Body Odor WAN. Well, of course it curious. is. Right. Uh, gigabit Ethernet 012022. So on this specific virtual interface, or sub-interface rather, um, we can see uh, the top left graph is telling us what are the most um, talkative endpoints, which endpoints are using the most traffic, mm -hmm. and when are they using that traffic. And the top right graph shows us uh, conversations. Conversation is, I'm talking to you, and I'm talking to you, to you on specific ports. So web server, uh, MySQL server, MS SQL server, what application is involved in our conversation. Right, and, and yeah, the conversation piece is the part that I actually like. I, I know that as a network guy, you want to know, you know, it's, it, the circuit is pegged, you know that it's passing this enormous amount of data. Now, who's the culprit? Is it, you know, Fred in accounting who's, you know, streaming Netflix, or is it something else? You know, that it, it's the uh, authentication traffic that's going to a really chatty Active Directory server for example. So you want to know that. But what really excites me about it is the other pieces, the conversation pieces, because NetFlow by default can be broken down as, for example, the top 10 conversations here. And I can see that you know between this server and that server, that device and that device, even if I'm not monitoring those devices, I can tell what kind of data what kind of information is being passed and which interfaces? So you like the global view, yeah. whereas I'm zoned into a specific interface and fixing that interface. You're saying, what is my entire network doing and what are the devices that are on that network doing even if I don't monitor them directly? Oh, yeah, because a lot of times as a monitoring engineer, I'm, I'm asked, like, how much web traffic are we seeing on this interface or how much whatever? And again, here we have conversations between two endpoints. But there, we can also take the data and look at the different kinds of data. So you can see that the web traffic, port 80, is happening. It's passing 5.6 gig currently uh, ingress, and then another 14.5 gig uh, egress. And I can see who is using up all that traffic. Again, is it Fred in accounting who's you know binge watching uh, Walking Dead, or is it some you know is it something else that's going on? The other nice thing about this, from a security standpoint, is that I can look at traffic and say, wait, wait. We have no business talking to that endpoint at all. And you can start to pick that up from NetFlow where you might not see that in with other monitoring types. So where does this NetFlow data come from? Good question. It is a um, it is a closed, not a closed protocol. It's a protocol developed initially by Cisco, although lots of network devices now support it. And it comes from one particular exporter. So you have a router that sits somewhere on your network, typically close to the center, and it is watching the traffic coming through. And every so often, it will throw out a bundle of conversation data to a machine that's listening, like our NetFlow listener, our NetFlow server. So every so often, the router will pass this big chunk of data, and it will pick it up, it will parse it out, and then it will be able to display this stuff. You can do it with multiple devices across your environment, but you're not monitoring every single device. You're only yeah. monitoring a few things in that soft, chewy center of your network. Yeah, the, the WAN edge is uh, uh, sort of the center of the WAN, but the WAN edge at each one of your locations is a common place to deploy um, NetFlow exporting. Um, the other thing to note is you're not sending all of the data, right? Because, of course, your link is going to be right. heavily utilized if you double all, all of your data. So what you're really doing is the, the router looks at all of the packets and extracts a couple of key pieces of information and then exports only that. And there's some other summary functions that happen in there as well. Right. So it's, it's a very small portion of the total data. Exactly. It's still a lot of data. I will, we have to be honest yeah. about that. There's a lot of data. You have to have the right kind of hardware to monitor and collect this. But once you have it, the insight you can get is invaluable. Yeah. as a network engineer. You need to have flow monitoring uh, in your network, regardless of where you get it from, you need to have flow monitoring. Definitely.